My name is Reina Grande, and I am going to read the first chapter of my novel, Across a Hundred Mountains. That's your father's grave, the old man said, in a voice that was barely audible. He had been silent most of the crossing. When he had to speak at all, he did so softly, as if this place was as holy as church, the U.S. border. Adelina looked at the large pile of rocks he was pointing to. The old man had to be mistaken. Her father wasn't under there. He couldn't be. She wiped the sweat from her forehead with the back of her hand. Then she used her hand as a shield to cover her eyes from the glare of the sun. She took a few steps forward until she was in the shadow of a boulder towering above them and the pile of rocks. Could her father really be buried there? She gulped. Her mouth was dry, and swallowing made her throat ache, as if she were swallowing a prickly pear, thorns and all. She felt tears burning her eyes and quickly rubbed them dry. It's not too late to turn around and go back, the old man said. Maybe it would be best. Adelina took a deep breath, then turned to look at the sea of shrub and cactus stretching out around her. The terrain seemed to never end. It had taken almost all day to get here. They hadn't been caught by the border patrol this time. She looked back at the old man. He must have been a good coyote back in the day when he was young and agile. Even now, despite his old age, a bad eye and a lame knee, he had managed to get her past the ever-watching eyes of La Migra on their second attempt. We can turn around now, the old man said again. You've seen his grave. Let that be enough. Adelina shook her head and began to walk down to the pile. I didn't come to see a grave, she said as she took off her backpack. I came to find my father, and I will take him with me, even if I have to carry his bones on my back. The old man looked at her with surprise, but said nothing. Yet Adelina knew what he was thinking. She had lied to him. She had not told him she was planning to dig up the body, and if he really was her father, take him back with her. He would not have brought her here, had she told him this. She bent down and began to remove the rocks one by one. So many rocks on top of him, so much weight to support. Maybe once the rocks were gone, maybe once he was free, she too would be free. It may not even be him, the old man said as he grabbed her wrist to stop her from removing any more rocks. I have to know, Adelina said. For 19 years, I have not known what happened to my father. You have no idea what it's like to live like that, not to know. Today, I'll know the truth. She yanked her arm and continued removing the rocks. The old man walked away from her. She tried to hurry. One by one, the rocks were lifted. Some rocks rolled down and hit her knees. Her fingers began to hurt from being scraped. There was still a possibility the old man was right. Maybe it wasn't her father, but which would be worse, that it was her father or that it wasn't? 19 years not knowing, too many years thinking he had abandoned them. Look, the old man said. Adelina turned around and saw a cloud of dust rising in the distance. La migra, the old man said. We must hide. Adelina turned back to the rocks and in desperation began throwing them against a boulder. She had to know who was buried there. She had to see for herself if it really was her father. What are you doing? Hide. The old man quickly made his way to a crevice in the boulder, but Adelina kept throwing off the rocks and didn't move from where she was. She gasped at the sight of a small metal cross. She quickly lifted more rocks and then covered her mouth with her hand to stifle a cry. It's a white rosary with heart-shaped beads, yes? The old man asked. Adelina nodded, looking down at the rusted metal cross, at the white beads, at the bones that had once been a hand. The old man hadn't lied. He was clutching the rosary so tightly when I found him dead, right there where he is now, the old man said. It's as if he had been praying right until his death, praying for a miracle, perhaps. His smuggler just left him here to die. Your father was bitten by a snake. The smuggler probably left him here thinking La Migra would find him. Look, here they come now. Adelina turned around and saw a white vehicle approaching. La Migra was here but they were 19 years too late to save her father.